Good morning. So I want to continue with the devotional that I'm on right now. I am doing Andy Stanley's devotional called Visioneering, God's Vision for Your Life. I want to go back to the very first one, day one. It's based on Ephesians 2. I'll read it to you right now. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So this talks about your purpose. Um, it's the first day of this devotional, so it's really the whole overarching theme of God's purpose for your life, God's vision for your life, and you were made for a purpose. Uh, for me, before I became a Christian, I was a Buddhist and I tried other faiths as well. And that whole purpose of my faith journey up to the point where uh, Jesus found me, really, was that I was trying to find a purpose for my life. You know, I believed in karma. I, I was a Buddhist, believed in reincarnation, karma, and the life that you have is not the only life. You are born, you do good deeds to accumulate for your next life, you're born again, and you're basically living off the merit you've earned in your last life and accumulating more merit for your next life. So that's what I was, uh, well, that was, what I, that, was I, that was what I believed before I knew Jesus, right? I just thought that whatever I did in my life, it's my choice. It's whatever I choose to do with my life. It's my life. Life is made of choices, and I thought that all of, as I went through life, it was up to me to make my choices. It was up to me to make my life decisions and lead myself to where I wanted to go. I was the one responsible for my own vision. I was the one responsible for my own purpose with what I wanted to do with my life. And the consequence of my choices, I would have to take whatever that consequence may be in this life or in the next life. So that's what I believed before, you know, that I have responsibility over everything in my life and I get to decide everything. I had authority, I had responsibility, I had the choice. You know, after I came to Christ, you know, you're now under the submission of the Lord Jesus Christ and understanding that He created you for a purpose. He made me for His purposes on this earth and we only have one life to live and it's not my vision for my life anymore it's God's vision for my life so let me read this devotional to you it's called what you were made for let me begin our seven days together with a fundamental truth you were created with God's purpose in mind and until you discover his purpose for you and follow through on it there will always be a hole in your soul as Ephesians 2.10 says, You are God's workmanship. Don't let this important reality slip by. Say it out loud. I am God's workmanship. I am God's workmanship. Do you know what that means? It means that you are the product of God's vision. God has decided what you could be and should be. And through Christ, He has brought about and continues to bring about changes in you in accordance with His picture of what you could and should be. The Bible says that God wants to conform us to the image of Jesus Christ, His Son. So there are things that go on in our life, things that come into our lives to mold us to that image. And we just have to be like the potter's clay, be pliable and let God mold us in ways that sometimes it's difficult, we resist it, it's hard, it's uncomfortable. But if we allow God to mold us into the Christ image that he has for us, then I believe that we will be living out God's will more closely and we'll have an even more intimate relationship with him. But his vision for you is not complete simply because God has the vision. It has been made into a reality, so you have a crucial part in it. As Paul says, you have been crafted to do good works. The particular works God has in mind for you are important and are different from the ones he has in mind for me or anyone else. God has a unique and specific plan for you individually where you are right now, what you're going through right now, in this season right now. Honestly, I can't get over the fact that the God of the universe has something in mind for us to do 
after all, this doesn't, he, doesn't he have other things to think about? But the Apostle Paul assures us that God has prepared something specific for us to do. This means you and I have no right to live visionless lives. If God has a vision for what we are to do with our allotment of years, we had better get in on it, don't you think? What a tragedy it would be to miss it. God's vision for you is what you were made for. And more than that, his individual vision for your life is a small part of a grand plan for the universe that he envisioned and put in motion long before you or I came into the scene. I like this part where he reminds us that we're just a puzzle in this bigger plan God has for the universe. We need to allow things to happen and not stifle what God wants to do in the bigger picture of things. So it's a good reminder to not be self-absorbed and only self-centered thinking about me, 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 my life, what I want, my goals, my selfish ambitions, my vain conceits, all those things. I'm not exaggerating one bit when I say that your vision came from an eternity past and fulfilling it will have effects lasting into eternity future. So God's vision for us is not just for now, for this world, for this time, for this life here on earth. His vision is for us to last till eternity when we are with Him, when the new heavens and the new earth come to be. God's vision is for that eternal time there. So think about what it means to be God's workmanship and begin trying to discern the purpose God has built into you. So it's, it's good to always step back from the routine of the days that we go through. Step back, take a moment, and really ask God to reveal to you. He wants to talk to you. Ask Him to reveal to you what is the purpose for the rest of my life. Maybe you come up to this point and nothing's been wasted for sure. I was not born in a Christian home. And that doesn't mean that my whole year and my, my whole life until I became a Christian was wasted. No. God used every single thing that happened to me in my past to fulfill a certain purpose He has for me. And now that I've acknowledged Him as Lord and Savior, I have a responsibility to ask Him what he wants me to do with the rest of my life. So I feel that that's a responsibility we all have as Christians, and God wants to tell us. You know, he tells us through his word, he tells us through the people around us, through prayer, through his Holy Spirit residing within us. So I ask that today, I want to invite you today to seek God for that. God, what is my, my purpose? God, what is your vision for my life? God, what is my purpose? How do I glorify you with the rest of my life starting from today? Thanks for watching.